teens to save on all Bridgestone tires and get up to a $100 prepaid American Express card with a purchase of four. Plus, Guardsman all-season tires are as low as $29.98. Visit SearsAuto.com for more great deals. Exclusions apply. See store for details. Sears. Life well spent. Welcome back to What's Cooking Today, nationwide and coast to coast, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, entertainment show. I'm Michael Horn. That is Paul Stern. Hey, a lot of big uh, food shows coming up all the time. There's something new coming up on uh, the 9th on the Food Network. It's a prime time, what they call a docu-soap, documentary soap. It's called The Private Chefs of Beverly Hills. And uh, Manushka Gerie, a former model, is uh, uh, one of the, uh, I guess, uh, the stars of the show. Manushka, welcome to the broadcast. And, Mike, we got Jesse Brune, too. I love it. You guys are like the Jamaicans of the radio like, world. You like, had this long list of everything you guys do. That was awesome. We do. We do, Jesse. <laughs> and Jesse Brune is on the show. You guys are giggling and giddy already. Tell us about the show. <laughs> What's this all about? The Private Chefs of Beverly Hills. What does this mean? Oh, it's a giggling, giddy extravaganza of food and <laughs> and merriment. <laughs> All right. So come on. I said it's a docu uh, soap uh, sort of thing. Well, this is kind of like a reality show. It sounds like to me. Yeah, yeah. It totally is. It's um, you know, we had um, what the Food Network really wanted to do was really capture some of the extravagant and oftentimes strange situations that. People find themselves in Beverly Hills while working in like this sort of realm. So, it's you know they really did a great job of getting really interesting uh, events that happen every day in Beverly Hills, and then um, get, uh, just kind of recording what happens when we go in there to actually cook for these really sort of high maintenance, very picky, very <laughs> irreverent people. You got me giggling now. So you two are private chefs, and we're gonna the cameras are gonna follow you as you take on assignments. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. So, in other words, yeah. if uh, Paul and I decide we want maybe a little breakfast prepared to go along with our food, wine, travel, and entertainment news that we have on the show, you will whip a little something up for us, and we hire you to come out, and the cameras will follow you. Yes. And the difference is because you are hiring us and you are paying us, you also have the liberty, or you feel you have the liberty, to kind of crack that whip. So would, would, you, would you say it's like that, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if they personally feel like they have the liberty to, but um, the people in Beverly Hills are there. <laughs> I'm liking this show already. Now, now, Jesse, Jesse Brune, give us uh, some background. What's your background now as far as culinary work? Um, you know, I am um, a, a, well, I was raised by a Southern woman, so that's pretty much like where it started. But I actually went to uh, Le Cordon Bleu um, uh, Culinary Academy um, in California. Uh, in Pasadena, and um, it was a really intense program. And, you know, I was actually, um, I'm uh, in, in Los Angeles, I do more of like healthy alternative food. I'm a personal trainer as well. So, oh, wow. And so, so wait I've, a minute, you're cracking the whip back after you make the food, you're working it off us. Pretty much, yeah. It's either it's either I'm 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 helping you um, get there, or I'm just a really smart business guy by keeping you fat and then bringing you back to the gym. All right, so <laughs> you, you get it going, you bring this thing back now. And, and Manushka, get you tell us about the, your background. Well, my background is um, I moved out to Los Angeles originally to be an actor. Well, yeah, right. There's not a bunch of those out here. And um, I grew up in a Haitian home where it was very customary that, you know, my family cooked all the time. It didn't matter what time of the day you came to my grandmother's house or who you were. You could have been the mail carrier to a long lost friend. You always had something to eat. And when I moved over here, I brought that with me, and everyone thought that was really strange, and I thought it was really cool. So, um, But they all loved it, and they were like, you should have your own business. And from there, I started my own um, private catering business. So you do private okay. catering for, like, uh, parties or individual things then, correct? Um, both. I mean, I've catered by myself from, you know, intimate um, dinners from 2 to 100. All right, so by myself. how do you get from there to doing this TV show? First, uh, Manushka, you uh, start, and then we'll get over to Jesse. I mean, did you have to go through an audition for this? How did the, uh, the Food Network people find you for this new docu-soap, Private Chefs of Beverly Hills? Well, we worked for a company called Big City Chefs, and Big City Chefs is right. the one who got 
I got gotcha. you. For the show, yeah. <laughs> so are you guys busy in this economy right now, Jesse? Do, uh, do you get a lot of jobs? I mean, obviously you're doing the TV show, but if you didn't have the TV show, are you a lot of people calling for you in Beverly Hills and uh, asking you to come in and make some kind of special meals? Yeah, well, you know, um, I think that because I sort of um, generally go towards, like, the healthier organic cuisine, um, I uh, my business is pretty much always good in Beverly Hills no matter what. And I work a lot on the East Coast as well. Um, and my thing is I, I do dinner parties, and so I go out for, you know, I mean, when you start working, all it takes is getting a couple clients that are sort of uh, well-to-do, and they sort of spread the word. And so, you know, I, I didn't feel it too too badly, but I also teach classes um, as well. So I'm always busy, you know, um, doing those. Those are always people. Uh, I think that cooking, like a lot of times chefs are just sort of like the new rock stars. Right. And so everyone wants to take a cooking class or um, a lot of people do that on date nights now, so it's oh, there's never like a lack of that either. No, really not, and especially because of the economy, people are more susceptible to have these um, dinner parties at their homes than going out and having these big extravagant dinners. Is it ex- is it expensive to do that, uh, Manushka? Is it uh, to do the dinner party at home? Um, no, not at all. I, I'm 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 really hoping that it it just. It just makes this huge comeback. Like they do. <laughs> it's, ex- it's expensive if you uh, if you hire me. Yeah, thank, you, thank you. Okay, so, so you got Jesse Brew. Jesse is uh, he's not only uh, the, the Cordon Blue trained chef, but a, a workout uh, uh, a workout coach, uh, a, a, a lifestyle consultant, and a motivational speaker, baby. That boy can he, he can and, keep it moving. And a motivational, he teaches cooking classes. <laughs> he's great. Now, Manushka, besides you doing all about cooking and learning that from your mom and uh, being in My the Haitian family, your grandmother, yes, you're also a former model. Tell us about that. Oh gosh, what part of that? Um, <laughs> I don't know to, all about that. <laughs> I used to be a Hawaiian shop big and bikini model. Yeah, I'm really? Kind of black. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so I mean, that kind of adds to it. Do you uh, dress? Are you just wearing the regular chef's coat when you're doing these uh, dinners, or do, are you doing no, something stylish? No, I wear a chef coat. Uh, <laughs> for big city chefs, I wear a chef coat. But for um, my own gigs, I, I I I tend to dress up. What does that mean? She's completely naked under that chef's coat. That's though. what I wanted to find out. Thank that. you, Jesse. Jesse, that's what I was trying to go for that. Thank you for it since you guys work together. All right, when does this show start? Because now I'm uh, quite interested to tune in. It's called The Private Chefs of Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, Hills a Friday, April 9th at 10 p.m. Unless you have a satellite dish, you can watch us at 7. Really? So you can watch it at uh, seven o'clock or ten o'clock, either one depending on your time zone. Is that right? Well, depending on well, the time it's, it's um, Eastern Standard Time, ten p.m. But if you do have satellite on the West Coast, you can watch. You can catch it at seven. Also. Apparently, you've uh, bought satellite and you're going to be watching at both time zones. Uh, Got that Direct TV, baby. I'll tell you what, we'll, be, we'll be tuned in then to watch both time slots. Anyway, it's Friday <laughs> night, ten o'clock Eastern Pacific Time, nine Central. The Private Chefs of Beverly Hills. Thanks to Jesse Brut and Manushka Gary. Straight ahead more on what's cooking today. For over 35 years, Lucas and Llewellyn's estate-grown sustainable vineyards have grown the grapes that promote